In this video, we're going to do a quick example of how to create a make file. Now, the purpose of a make file is to tell the system how to build a program. So with GCC, it compiled a program and that's how we built it. A make file is a little more general, but we're going to use it to call GCC, but it makes it simpler to recompile programs. And it also allows us to have different ways to build a program. So I'm going to write a file called make file. And in our, in my make file, I'm going to have a set of rules and each rule is made up of a target and then a list of dependencies. So in this case, we're saying to build everything. If I want to do the whole thing, I, I need multifile.c and I need my stuff.o. And if I have that, then I'm going to have the commands that are going to run to build this target. So GCC STD equals C11 dash wall dash pedantic multifile.c. and my stuff .o. So then I need to tell it how to build my stuff .o. And for that, I need my stuff .c. So that's the dependency there. And you're always going to start the list of commands with a tab, not for not spaces, a tab. So to build my stuff .c into my stuff .o, I need to use dash C my stuff dot O. Another thing I like to do is clean, make a clean target. There's no dependencies, and that's going to remove all dot O files, all dot exe files, all dot out files. So that way, no matter what system I'm running on, it'll build all compiled files. And I'll... so here I don't have anything built. So to actually execute this make file, I just type make in the directory where it is. So here I have make file. Here's my multi file program. So I just need to type make in the directory with my code. And I have a bug. Ah, my stuff that oh should compile my stuff.c. Okay, so now you see it compiled. If I do an ls, there's an a.out, and I think that's what my stuff is supposed to do. So I could also use this to create a file or an output file using the dash c that I could rename the actual build something other than a.out if I wanted to. Also notice, suppose I change my stuff.c. If I make again, it rebuilds everything. But if I touch multifile.c and then make, notice it only compiles multifile.c. So make is smart enough to only pull what it needs to actually compile. So when I touch my stuff.c, that affects because of this dependency, my stuff.o, which is the dependency here. So it's going to compile that and multifile.c. However, if multifile.o is older than the change to multifile.c, then or the, the last build of multifile.c, then it knows that it doesn't have to recompile that code. And if I do an ls-l, you'll see that I have a .8, .out file and a .o file. And if I do make clean, you'll see that both of those are gone. And now actually I can do a make and it'll build everything over again. One other thing, be very careful here. If you do an rm-rf, that forces it. Make sure you don't just put an ash, a bare asterisk there because that'll force it to delete everything in that folder. So this is a quick introduction to make files. We'll actually do a lot more next week. But for now, this should be sufficient to get you started.